guys, it is Monday night after classes. Our last class ends at about 6.45. It is now like 7.30, and I am about to get started on some forms training. So I just warmed up. What I do is normally some side shuffles all the way around the school a couple times, uh, some jogging, some high knees, um, some butt kicks, and then I go into just up and down the floor with chambers and then up and down the floor with kicks and then I come over to the rails and I do just like some basic leg swings and then I'm pretty warmed up. So my warm-up routine is getting longer and longer the older that I get um, and so is my stretching routine because I'm a lot more prone to injury. Like I'm not that old but I just turned 29 and I can feel it, the difference between like 29 and back when I was, you know, 19, I like barely had to warm up and I could just come out here and kick. But anyways, that's the joys of getting older. So I'm all nice and warmed up. I've been doing that for the last about 10 minutes. And now I'm gonna get started on my forms training. Um, I train the form that I used to compete with, which is Yosin. It's a, I say it's an ITF form. I don't do it the way that the ITF does it, so people are gonna give me crap in the comments about that, but it is one of their forms. So I do it more with like a Japanese style to it because I competed in open tournaments. So I was competing against um, karate kata as well, which that just looks better, you know? So I don't think anybody can really um, say otherwise. Karate looks a lot stronger um, and a lot better than Taekwondo forms typically do. So to be able to compete in an open circuit, you typically have to turn your Taekwondo forms into more of a karate style. So again, another ramp, but I'm headed over here to do some training and I'll probably be here for the next like 45 minutes.